But what's really striking about the front is that it is like this portal as you look through into the Goldsworthy um, uh, courtyard. That that hole is, in essence, a place of traveling and transition. And we're talking a lot about migration in an aspirations piece. Um, so the very front of the building would represent the the very foreground of aspirations painting and all the symbolism there which is about um, you know, struggles or survival of slavery. But not just focusing on the African American experience, we're also focusing on just people in general who've come from really hard places or their ancestors have to keep working and pushing through, to keep surviving, to keep um, stepping beyond the obstacles that were put up in front of them, not by their own doing, but by others, you know? and getting around that and, and trying to pull people together to get to this better place. This middle section is a, a section of hope. It's hope. It's about also achieving. It's seeing the reality of being able to achieve. But also there's just this darkness as well because the, loom, the looming racism and the looming obstacles that were put in front of you are still there, they're just kind of disguised differently. Right. And um, so there's still gonna be like a bit, bits of triumph, but just bits of celebration, bits of um, just really honoring your past. And uh, not living in the past, but living towards the future. The big finale is in the Caret, where we can really make use of the aerial truss and have kind of our signature um, combination of aerial dance, theatrical expression, which could include lots of spoken text or poetry, um, and live music, mm -hmm. and possibly live voice, and multimedia projection, video, set pieces, just where we can really use that theatrical space to bring it all together. And it would be representing? The third part of the painting, the city on the hill, yeah. the future. This was painted in 1936, and they're all gesturing towards this utopian city on the hill, which is full of opportunity, and at that time, opportunity really meant, you know, just a job, you know, at a very basic level, and that, that being the springboard to, to, um, to a much, much better future for yourself and your family. So, in a sense, if you think about this future being painted in 1936, the future is now. Like, this is representing the now, but for us, you know, what, what has this become? And if we were to look, for example, inside of each one of these little windows and see little vignettes of what the future is, which is actually 2012 in the context of this painting, what, what would you see? What would you see in terms of what's happening in the world, what's happening to American families? Um, how can we um, look at this from 2012 now and think, okay, in 2064, what does the city on the hill represent right. for us? Right. two generations from now, three generations from now. Uh, right. So we want to take that moment in time when, when, when this is premiering and really get people to think, you know, what are my hopes and dreams and what is reality and how can I be an empowered part of that future mm. and, yeah. and make my voice count. Yeah. It's very, it's exciting for me though because it, it is blood. It is, it's not, like, we're, we're so close, our families are so close. The history, the, my own personal legacy is, is, is here, wrapped up in his imagery. It, to, to, to have this experience and to not realize, not remember that he actually had a piece of, of art at the museum. And when I walked in there, I was like, watch Derek's expression when he sees this painting. I, I almost fell to the floor, like it started to well up in my eyes. And um, so now we're having just this magical experience to bring his work to a three-dimensional place, which I think is just the beginning for other things to maybe happen in the future.